Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to another Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku puzzle and it's still Friday the 26th of November 2021 and I'm going to play a supplementary puzzle because I had my day messed up, schedule messed up and I had a lot of time at home listening to music, waiting for work. It didn't arrive, or did arrive actually, but arrived at weird times. And so I'm going to play another Washington Post uh, expert level game. Now uh, if you haven't um, played the Washington Post before, I should warn you that if you go to the link for the Washington Post, uh, it probably won't be this game because it seems to be a random link, just uh, goes off to random puzzles, but I would encourage you to visit the link and keep the games free. After all, uh, you know, um, we nothing is free in this world, is it? Not very many things anyway, and so, uh, you know, we need to pay for the advertising, but there is also a link in the description that you can click on to play the game, di this game, directly, uh, and you'll be able to play at sudokuexchange.com. Uh, that's the solver that I use. Now, I have no idea uh, if this is going to be tough or not. It, the Washington Post uh, is like the other newspapers that they can, the expert level game can vary wildly in difficulty levels. So let's get stuck in, shall we? Five blocking across here, five blocking across here, five blocking up here. First number is a five. I saw another one while I moved. Oh, there is six blocking up here, six blocking down there. I saw that one while I was chatting to you. And there's another one here, six across here, six across here, six up here, six in that square there, and six up here, six up here, six across here, six up here. It's a very fast start, but let's not say that that's going to be the end of it. We really don't know for sure if it's going to continue in this vein or if it's going to get tough. Can't tell, can we, at this point? Um, all right, any other easy ones around? Okay, so let's hit on the numbers then and just see uh, if anything <coughs> is plain as the nose on your face. Does that sound like I'm insulting you? Do you think I've got a, you've got a plain nose? I didn't mean it like that. Okay, one square for a two. Okay, threes across here, threes across here, and three all the way up. Yet another empty square that we can place our digit in. Aha, seven blocking up here, seven blocking up here. That's the seven we can place now. Eight blocking up here, that's a single space available for an eight. Eight cross here now. Oops, a bit too fast. Try and go a bit slower. Eight blocking over there. That's an eight. Eight blocking down here, down here. That's going to be an eight here. Eight blocking down here, down here, across here. That's an eight there. It's not, look like, not looking like an expert level so far, is it? I must say. Uh, across here, eight across here. We've completed digit eight now. We don't have to worry about that one anymore. Nine, of course, is here. That's the last number for this column. If 
Right, I've got to go back to ones because I've done quite a lot here. Okay, so one is one of the missing numbers there. I mean, in these three squares, so it's going to extend down block there. One blocking here, one blocking here, so that's a one to place there. Okay, two blocking this square, two blocking this square, and this two blocking this square. We don't have a two in this row yet, so two of those there. Uh, five is one of the missing numbers up here, so that will block all the way down here, and five blocking across here, so that's a five. Yes, you can hear the chair creaking, not because it's difficult, though. often the chair creaks because I'm having to think hard, somehow or another it makes me squirm in the chair, but uh, I'm not thinking very hard here to be honest with you, oops, that's done already. Um, so far it's been very straightforward, but we may have some logic puzzle to come uh, now actually, because uh, I've been through all of them now, so I think that's... It. So let's see what else we can find, shall we? Missing numbers here and here are three and four. Don't know about those missing numbers here and here are three and four. Of course, the same. Up here we are missing two, five, and one. Okay, we've only just got a single block in two there. Uh, missing numbers along this row are three, four, and seven. Nope. Missing numbers in this row are 1, 3, and 4. Nope. Missing numbers in this column are 1, 2, 4, and 9. Nope. And finally up here, that's the last place. Oh no, what's, what's missing down here? I've got these two. Uh, one and four, right? No, I can't get anything there. And up here, one, two, five, nine. So, pencil mark time, I think. Okay, so now we can start with our logic game. We've done the easy stuff and we got this far. So let's do uh, all of these because they're all three, four. And now let's do the twos in those squares and the fives and the uh, ones all the way down there. All right. Um, let's see what else we can do. So let's go through now then. So ones, uh, can we make pairs anywhere? Not really. Twos. Uh, um, okay, over here is a pair of twos. Two, 
two blocking across here, two blocking up here. So that's a pair of twos there. Three blocking up here, three blocking down here. So that's a pair of threes there. Three blocking down here, three blocking across here. So a pair of threes possible there. And that's going to give me a pair of threes there, of course. That's everything. Uh, fours now. No, fives, yes, pair of fives up here because of this and this. And also five blocking up here and five blocking up here, so a pair of fives in these squares. That's it, sixes. Okay, so six blocks down here, six blocks across here, so that's a pair of sixes there. Up here, six, sorry, six blocking across here, across here, and up here, so a pair of sixes in those two squares, and that's everything. Sevens uh, blocking across here, so that's a pair of sevens there. It's also going to give me a sevens in that row there. Not sure about a pair though. Seven across here and seven across here is going to give me another row of sevens just there. Seven up here, seven across here gives me a pair of sevens there. And so there's another row of sevens. <laughs> oh, useless. Okay. Eights uh, done now. Nines. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine, no. Okay. So that's what we got to with uh, pairs. We didn't find any uh, naked pairs uh, apart from you know ones that are just limited to what's left in the box. This is not a pair of six and seven because seven is actually in three squares here. So that's a, something to watch out for. Uh, it's misleading if you put in three numbers as opposed to only pairs. If that was just a pair, that would be great, but it's not. So we can't assume that it is. Uh, so therefore, since we didn't find anything else of use, we've got to uh, get at it. Hold on. No. Uh, six, seven, okay. Uh, okay, so nothing left to do except fill in the numbers. So uh, any preferences? Shall we go up or down? I don't know that it matters really. So we'll just start at the top and then we'll we'll go in you know regular fashion I suppose. One blocking up here. So one is available in these squares. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all done. We don't have eight yet. Yes we do, sorry, eight's here. We don't have nine. So uh, nine we don't have. So nine is possible in those three squares. Over here, uh, one blocks this square, so one is available like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is done. The nine blocks nowhere, so nine can go anywhere. Let's have a look at this shoot and see if we can. I'm being bitten by mosquitoes. <laughs> you in cold countries don't have to worry about mosquitoes, do you? Um, we do sometimes in hot countries. Um, right. Um, how annoying. Right, where am I? Where am I? Anything useful? Anything goes? Nope. So back down here. Two blocking across here. Two blocking up here. So two possible in those squares. Three done. Four blocks here. Five's done. Six, seven, eight's done. Nine blocks across here, like so. And let's go down to the bottom. One blocking across here, one blocking across here. So three possible places. Two, three is done. Four is not done. Four blocks down here. So four available there. Five is done. 
six is done, seven is done, eight is done. We're just looking for nine. Ah, we found a single. Okay, nine blocks across there. So nine is available in all of these squares, but not here because that is in fact a one. We now know. So let's get rid of the ones in these squares, shall we? Okay. Oh, mosquitoes. Oh, got to get rid of that one as well. And of course, that will give us a pair of ones in those squares now. Um, right now, are there any patterns for us to deal with? If there are, they have eluded me at this stage. So we shall carry on. Oh, no. Okay. One, two, three, four. We don't have yet. Four can go anywhere it feels like. Five, six, seven, eight done. We don't have nine. Nine blocks across here only. Nine. Hmm. Right, so a uh, bit of error checking it looks to be in order. So we've just got one more block uh, to try and keep our fingers crossed and hope for a single or something. One, two, three is done. Four is not done. Four blocks there. So four in those squares. Five, six, seven, eight is done. Nine, nine, nine blocks across there. Damn, we didn't get a single. We're hoping for one there. Didn't get it though. Nine goes in those squares there, and that's your lot. So now it's Sudo time to play Sudoku. Um, hmm. Lucky it's uh relaxation time here. I don't have to worry about any work or anything like that. It means I can take my time and search for any patterns. Oh, you know what I should do first? Check for errors, right? Uh, check for patterns. That's what I should do first, just in case I've missed something blatant. Um, oh, for a moment, I thought I had an X-wing, but nope. Well, I have seen uh, one of those useless removals, I think. Uh, I think, okay, if you've watched some of my other games, I've mentioned this uh, uh, before about uh, one of the unique rectangle patterns, which is really not particularly great. It, does, it almost never solves a problem, solves the puzzle, but it it is one inch forward, and you know, in Sudoku games, we try to uh, go forward, even you know, even a small step at a time if we can. So, what is it? Well, is this six seven six seven? We have a unique rectangle, but we only have one by value cell. Okay, so I'll just explain how to play this. We have this uh, by value cell here, six seven. Now, what we can do is we take the square which is diagonally opposite, which is this one. Okay this one here and we look for any sixes or sevens in this in the row or in the column not including the unique rectangle square itself so not this one okay uh, and of course uh, not where is it that one okay now we look in these squares and we see if we see one of those numbers only then we can remove it 
but if we see both of those numbers, it's useless. Now, okay, so it's six and seven, right? That's our, this is our number. Oh, should have, sorry, should have uh, kept that one like that. Six and seven. Now, we do have a seven here, we have a seven here, and we have a seven there. But we don't have any sixes. Remember, not these squares, right? We don't include the unique rectangle squares. So we have sevens in this column, and we have sevens in this row, but we don't, uh, here, sorry, no, we don't have any sixes, so we can, in fact, remove the seven. But as I said, normally, it's pretty useless as a technique because it, it doesn't normally get you very much. Um, is it going to do anything here? One, four, six, nine, four, nine. No, I didn't think it would, though. Okay, but we have removed the number, so that's something, I suppose, right? Now that I'm looking uh, at patterns, that's four. Oh, I'm being bitten. Damn mosquitoes. I'm going to have to go and get my mosquito tennis racket in a moment. I don't know if you've ever seen that. It's the kind of thing that administers electric shocks to mosquitoes, better than the spray stuff, which is, which is not very pleasant. Uh, okay, fives then, if I can avoid being bitten. Sixes. Oh, that was where I was. Sorry, sixes, yeah, because that's why I saw six. And sevens, okay, sevens. Eight's done. Hmm. All right, so the next step, um, I guess, is to examine all of the blocks, block by block, and see if I can find any patterns within the block first up. So let's have a look. There's just these here. No, there's nothing there. How about in this block here? Anything? Block two? How about in this block over here? No, no. Three, four, and obviously not anything there. And in this block. No. And how about this block here? Nothing. Okay, of course there's nothing there. There's only two squares there. Over here. Oh. Ouch. No. And uh, here, no, nothing there is there. Okay. So then I'm going to have to go line by line, okay? Just row by row and column by column. Let's have a look here. One, two, three, four. No, I don't see anything there. Second row. No. No. No, no, nothing there. No. 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 So it's column time. We've got three, four, of course, but there's nothing. No, no nothing there. This one. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, dear. No, 
there's nothing there. I can see that already. This one. No, and we are almost out of columns, and we are out. Okay, so there aren't any patterns within each block or within each row or column. That means we've got to look for special Sudoku logic. Um, so let's start looking, shall we? Ketones. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no. I thought I saw something, but it was not useful anyway. Excuse me, this may take some time. Who was it who said I'm going out and maybe some time? Is that Shackleton? I can't remember. What I've been particularly looking for are x, y, uh, x, y wings. That's what I've been looking for uh, for a while, and I keep thinking I'm seeing about to see one, and doesn't quite get there. Uh huh. Okay. Um, maybe what I need to do is look for. Now I need to look for. Um, oh, nothing there. Clicked on a one. Okay. No, nothing was selected. Nothing happened. Uh, so I need to uh, look for conjugate pairs now. I think now if there are any useful conjugate pairs. Um,
This could be a very boring video unless you're playing along in real time and also trying to solve the game at the same time as me. If it gets to be really, really long, I shall edit it, of course. I thought I'd seen a finned X-Wing, but no, I was wrong. I wish I could remember how to do those shapes. I've forgotten. I haven't used them for so long. I can't even remember how to use that technique anymore. You know, the L shape and the T shape. I used to use them in the past and I've completely forgotten how to use them now. So I should have to revise my technique.
This is the reason I don't normally do ex real expert level games on this channel, I mean ones that you find on the internet etc or in books, uh, because they are really time consuming, sometimes they can take up to two hours or something to find the, re to find the answer. Uh, and that would make for terrible videos, wouldn't it? So uh, that's the reason I don't normally do these kind of things uh, on this channel. Uh, I only play the newspaper games, which are generally easier, but today's Washington Post expert level has come up trumps and is an actual expert level game, <laughs> I think, unless I'm missing something, of course. Have I found something? Oh, have I, have I, have I? Uh, let's click on three, what was it, threes or fours? Fours. Four, 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 have. Okay, right. Okay, uh, so um, I'm going to show you uh, how to remove some numbers now. Okay, so let's show you this technique here. I've forgotten the name of it. What is it? Um, I've forgotten the name. I apologize. I've forgotten the name. If I remember the name, I'll, I'll find it in. I'll add it to the description. Well, I'll tell you what. Somebody please put the name of the technique in the comments. I've forgotten the name. I apologize. If you're watching the game, please uh, put the name of this technique in the, in the comments. Let's get a bit of feedback going on this channel. It'd be nice to get some people actually commenting apart from the regulars. So please do that. Okay, but I'll show you the technique. I understand the technique, but I've just forgotten the name of it. Okay, so here we go. Right. Do you see in this column there are two squares and they're row? Okay, just look at the. You have to look at the uh, lines. Shall I color them? I tell you, what, I can color these, can't I? Let's put them in color to demonstrate. So let's give them this color here. Um, actually, I think I can select them all like this, can't I? Okay, right. Okay, let's have a look at these. So if you if you notice now, uh, there are no other fours in the columns, right? No, no other fours in the columns. Uh, there are three columns, and they touch in three places. That means here and here, 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 here. So there are three touch points, okay, across the rows here. There are three columns, and there and there are no others in the column. I'm not explaining it very well, but you'll see three, okay. These three squares, three squares, and these two, and they line up across the rows. That sounds a bit better, okay. They line up across the rows. Now, what does it mean? Well, what it means is, of course, there are none, there are no removals to be made uh, in the columns, but we can make removals across the rows if they intersect. So if any, if there are any fours in this row or this row or this row, we can take them out. Okay, this is on, on digit four, right? See it? So you can see, look, when we highlight four, there are several to be removed. So there's, uh, I'll just unhighlight it and just make it easy. So in this row here, okay, first of all, we can take out that four there. And then we can let's, uh, take out this four here. And that's it. So there aren't any more fours here. Let's look down here. Uh, no, there's nothing to remove here. But down here, yes. There's a four here to remove, and there's a four here to remove as well. So let's click on four, make sure we don't we've removed them all in the rows. Yes, yes, no, there's none left. But that's going to leave us with a single three, and that 
should finish the game for us. So the three goes here, the four goes here, the three goes here, the four goes here. I'm gonna um, change these colors now because they're, uh, they're just gonna confuse me. I'm just uh, gonna put everything back to white if I can. Okay, right. All right, so uh, let's see that three that I put in there, so that's gonna block that. So three must go here now. Oh, sorry, wrong mode selected. Three must go there. I just changed the color by mistake. Oh, I was forgetting to change things on here. And three now will be in this square, of course. Oh, I've done it again. I don't believe it. Three will be in this square, of course. Right, okay. And that's going to give me a seven here, and a nine here, and a one here, and a two here. Okay, uh, that two blocks down there, that's going to be a two now. And then two blocks across here. So that's our two there. Um, should we do some removals? Okay, let's get rid of twos first of all. Twos in these squares have to go. In fact, let's uh, look now and see what we can remove. Let's get rid of the one there. Let's also get rid of the one in these two squares. And also, of course, now we have one as a pointing pair. That one has to be removed, and now one must be placed in this square here. Okay. Right, twos. Uh, so we've got to place a two here and a five here. And we shall remove our two from here. And two is now a completed digit. Three. Okay, we've got to get rid of candidate three in that square. And now three here means that that is no longer three, so we'll remove it. And three must be placed in this square here. Okay, four. Four is a pointing pair down here, so this can't be four any longer. And four must now be placed in this square. This gives us a nine here, one here, and uh, one blocking up here, so that's a one there. 7 here, that's a 4 there, 9 here, and uh, this would be a 4 now. This 4 gives us a 9 in this square, 9 means that's a 7, and this is a 4. You're, 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 you're anxious now to see if it's going to work out, right? You're wondering, was it correct what he told us? <laughs> I'm confident. There's no, uh, this 9 means, no, this is a 5. And the last number to fill that block in is a seven. We've got five here, so this is now a nine. Meaning this now is a seven. Back up here to give us a five in this square. The seven gives us a six here, seven there. Uh, the six gives us a nine in this square. And now the proof of the pudding to see whether that technique worked or not. Yes, it did. Okay, so thank you. And as I said, uh, um, you know, I could look it up. Right, I could look up the name of that technique and uh, put it in on the description. But um, and if nobody tells, no, if nobody puts it in the comments over the next couple of days, I will do that. Okay, but uh, I'd prefer you to, uh, you know, if you've never commented on the channel before, please do, and uh, put in the name of that technique, and um, um, that would be nice because uh, it will help uh, expand the channel out to other people as well, expand the viewership, which is not very big, to be honest with you. But well, thank you for joining me for the WAPO, the Washington Post expert level puzzle. I hope you enjoyed playing yourself. Hope you found that uh, thingy bob technique yourself. Okay, that's it for today. Bye bye.